Hey, welcome to Socialism for All. Today's date is October 29, 2021. And earlier this week, I put up a video which was an audiobook and discussion titled History of the Modern Black Liberation Movement and the Black Workers' Congress Summed Up from 1974 by the Black Workers' Congress. That was a really interesting hour-long video about working in organizations and focusing on this particular organization, the Black Workers' Congress and related other organizations. I highly encourage you to go check that out. But at the end of the video, after reading through the whole thing and thinking about it, um, it got my brain going in terms of just thinking about experiences and organizations. And basically, I talked for about 10 minutes, giving some general thoughts about that. If you want the really short version, um, I cannot recommend at this time just doing this channel, which is not tied to an organization, uh, and striving for Marxist unity as much as that's possible and just trying to focus on baseline, broad-based education. Um, you know, I can't recommend any specific Marxist group, but I would recommend, particularly for people with less experience in organizations, join one of the more mass membership uh, groups like DSA or the Green Party. You don't have to get married for life to it, but, you know, spending a year or two in that, uh, you can meet people and um, honestly, you probably meet a surprising amount of Marxists in there, although those organizations do have their right wings, which are more, you know, reformist and whatever. Anyway, what I'm going to do here is just chop out that last 10 minutes and uh, just put it here into its own video so that it's not quite as buried. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Organizations are tough. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's a hard thing to do. And, you know, I commend anybody who is sincerely trying to build a socialist organization. Um, it's not easy work, particularly in the U.S. So, you know, my hat's off. I also make a point of frequently, I mean, at the end of every video now, recommending to people that, you know, if you have that project you've been thinking about starting, go ahead and do it. You know, try to give some encouragement on that. I also recommend that if there's a good organization in your area to join it because consciousness does get sharpened by actively participating in movements and getting out there in the world and doing things. And, you know, no organization is perfect, but as is quoted here from Mao, Marxism develops in the struggle against bourgeois and petty bourgeois ideology, and it is only through struggle that it can develop. That's really key, and I think that in the U.S. in particular, where I am and where the majority of the audience is for this channel at the present moment, you're going to encounter that in probably any organization that you join. In fact, uh, somebody asked me recently, you know, what are the good organizations that I would recommend? And at this time, I can't make any specific recommendations. What my response to that is, that's something everybody needs to figure out for themselves, for like where you see your interests best represented, for the organization that speaks to you the most, where you feel you're going to be most effective, or where you can take the next step in developing your consciousness. That's something you got to figure out because all of the groups, I mean, I've heard bad things about every single organization that there is. Uh, so I don't know that there is one that is free of that. And what I don't want to do is start steering people into some particular organization, which then turns out to have some massive problem, especially when I'm not involved with it personally myself. I don't think anybody particularly gains from doing that. So if you're considering a smaller group, uh, you know, something specifically communist, do your research on it. I mean, try to talk to people from that organization, search for stories online and anecdotes, um, understand not everything online is true or accurate. Some of it may be smears or things like that. But if you see a consistent pattern, it may be worth um, noting that, maybe asking the organization how they respond to it. But basically, do try to do some research before you join something, particularly something smaller. And the one recommendation that I really would make, which I feel like, while it might not be the fast track to uh, you know, being involved in the most sort of 
elite, uh, you know, cutting edge Vanguard group is particularly if you do not have experience with real life political organization or political party membership. So that's something you're totally new to. I would recommend joining more of a mass membership, less fringe group, such as the DSA or the Green Party. Because, number one, those organizations can always use more Marxists in there, uh, pushing for more actually socialist positions. We see in the case of the Green Party, I think that Howie Hawkins did a decent job introducing some more actually socialist positions. Uh, the Green Party has sort of been all over the place. There are more right-leaning, you know, green capitalists like petty bourgeois things going on and hippie capitalism. There are also some actual socialists in the Green Party. And like I said, I think that they can always use more. Whether, you know, you're in that party for a long time or not, it could be six months, it could be a year, it could be two years, whatever. It will give you some experience with group membership and group decision making and group accountability and group project administration and execution. And it will just get you used to that type of work. It might be a good experience. It might be a bad experience. But the idea is getting that entry level experience with political organizing and, you know, just group activity in a place where you're least likely to get totally burned out and totally, well, just burned, period. There's so many stories of people joining organizations and if the organization is dysfunctional, uh, they wind up taking on too much or there's some kind of huge, uh, you know, major war going on within the party and people are getting accused of all kinds of stuff which has nothing to do with political work and those things can get really escalated and really crazy. Having it, you know, again, those entry level experiences in an organization which are more mass membership in nature, uh, maybe a bit safer for you. So, and like I said, well, let's talk about, I talked about the Green Party, let's talk about DSA a little bit. So DSA has some major problems. Uh, anybody joining DSA, put it on your agenda. Tell them S4A sent you. No, don't. Uh, put it on your agenda to oppose the endorsing of any Democratic candidates. As I always say, the fundamental task of the U.S. left right now is to break completely with the Democratic Party and with all capitalist parties. Republican, Libertarian, obviously, but definitely the Democratic Party. DSA has not done this. That said, they do do some very useful local organizing. Could there be better alternatives organized? Undoubtedly, yes, organization-wise. Could there be better alternatives organized? Yes. But getting into an organization like that, particularly if you don't know anybody in your area who has socialist politics, um, you can meet some people, and maybe you, know, you get into that organization, and six months or a year in, you wind up being a key voice in you know, leading a Marxist faction towards taking more of an actually socialist position on whatever issue happens to come up within your branch. And people notice that, you influence them, and maybe there's even a split in the organization, and you and a group of five or six other people wind up frustrated with the limitations of that organization, splitting off and forming a new project, which from the ground up is organized in a fundamentally better way that doesn't make some of those other mistakes or doesn't have some of those other contradictions. And your project then over the next five years goes on to cover a lot more ground, make a lot more progress, etc. But you might not have met the people that you would be partnering with without getting involved in the first place. So I get that DSA and the Greens are not, you know, even explicitly Marxist parties. So, you know, why would this, a Marxist channel, uh, encourage particularly less experienced people to join them? Well, again, the basics of getting experience, which is just invaluable, it's going to help you in any effort that you try to do later on in terms of, you know, mass work or anything. It's going to be helpful. And, you know, while you're in there gaining that experience, 
uh, take that opportunity to push them further left, whether or not it sticks, whatever. You know, like DSA, for example, has major issues with the right wing of DSA not being internationalist and not really being anti-imperialist. Okay, so you can be in the left wing of DSA. You can be in the Marxist wing of DSA, which, you know, actually uh, hammers on the right wing elements within DSA. Great. Everyone comes away better off for that having happened. So I guess that's my general advice with regard to organizations is try to avoid really tiny niche things unless you're very experienced or it's just really, really calling to you. That way, again, it's a little bit safer, especially in small orgs. People can get really a lot of work and responsibility dumped on them that they're not necessarily ready for or that the organization can't support them in doing. And it just results in sometimes massive personal crisis for people that they have to spend years recovering from. You want to avoid that. And, and it really is a very real hazard. Don't underestimate that. Or if you're not up for a political party, you might consider joining something more general, like a mutual aid network, which is not there as, you know, it's not taking upon itself the task of like orchestrating the revolution. You're just organized around some specific purpose. And that to me is more the strength of a DSA, less for guiding political philosophy, which I think any Marxist entering DSA would uh, really probably be opposed to many of their positions and would have to hammer on them from the left. Um, but getting involved with it for some of the more practical work that they're doing, whether that's you know helping to organize a tenants union or supporting a minimum wage increase or something to that effect. Um, that can be helpful. Like I said, you can network with people, meet people you wouldn't have met otherwise. And maybe, you know, after collecting phone numbers and email addresses and whatever other connections you're making through social media, uh, maybe you step back for a while and then it hits you the idea that you think your area really needs. That would be a great next step forward. Then you have people to contact. So, there are benefits to getting involved and you just want to be careful where you do it. That's, I think, all I'm going to say about it at this time. Uh, if people have experiences that they want to share, good, bad, and neutral with organizations and, you know, just other tips that you think I should be relating to people in these videos regarding, you know, getting involved with organizations, let me know and uh, let's have a discussion. We'll continue that in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for listening. Thanks to the current patrons whose names are on the screen. If you'd like to get your name on the screen, head to patreon.com slash socialism for all. You can sign up for as little as $2 a month and every donation is encouraging. They're also materially helpful. Thank you all for your contributions through Patreon. If you'd like to help out without a donation, liking, subscribing, clicking the notifications bell, leaving a comment for the algorithm, even if it's just good video or something like that. All help to boost the channel. Also sharing the videos on your social media helps to get these videos in front of more eyes, expand the conversation and get more people talking about socialism. Ultimately, whatever it is that you do, whether it has anything to do with S4A or not relating to expanding the conversation about socialism, thanks for doing it. Join an org if there's a good one in your area <laughs> per previous comments and we'll catch you in the next video.